Japanese automakers are offering new electric vehicles in all shapes and sizes for 2022. Here are the top EVs you can buy from them in 2022 and beyond. Nissan Aria Unlike the LEAF, which only has front-wheel drive, Nissan draws on technologies established in previous vehicles. It has the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split system to provide optional all-wheel drive through a dual front-rear electric motor arrangement. We anticipate that the all-wheel drive Aria will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds, comparable to higher-end electric cars. The basic front-wheel drive variant will certainly be slower, but we anticipate it to provide the quick acceleration that EV powertrains are known for. Nissan claims the Aria has a driving range of up to 300 miles per charge, which, if accurate, would represent a significant improvement over the LEAF's maximum capacity of 226 miles. Similarly sized cars with similar ranges are Jaguar's I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which have 234 and 204 miles respectively. The Aria will charge at home using 110 or 240 volt outlets and at public charging stations and even DC fast charging connections. $40,000 is the starting price. Mitsubishi Airtrek Electric Mitsubishi Airtrek is set to make a comeback as an all-electric SUV released later this year. The Chinese media has now released pictures of the forthcoming battery-powered vehicle online ahead of its formal debut. The business had previously hinted at the car. The latest released photos give an excellent look at the car's external appearance. New images show the dynamic shield face with a dual-tier lighting arrangement similar to the MyTech concept with DRLs mounted on top of the L-shaped primary headlights. It receives a chrome bar connecting the top DRLs, as shown in the teaser photos, and the front grille is made up of rugged-looking slats linked by the Mitsubishi emblem positioned above the registration plate. The front apron receives a trapezoidal-shaped intake and numerous sensors for the car's active safety systems on the lower end. The car's back portion has T-shaped taillights that extend towards the rear fenders, giving it a highly unusual and distinctive appearance. The SUV will have a rising shoulder line on the side to provide it with the formation of a floating roof. The information on the interior is currently unavailable. Starting price? $27,000. Toyota Prius Prime Hybrid The Toyota Prius Prime is a plug-in hybrid with a 1.8-liter four-cylinder gas engine and an electric motor. The engine produces 121 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque. Power is sent to the front wheels through a continuously variable gearbox. The Prius Prime can drive up to 25 miles on energy alone when the battery is fully charged. Recharging takes 5.5 hours on an average home plug and 2 hours and 10 minutes on a 240 volt level 2 charger. Because of its excellent economy and electric only capabilities, the Prius Prime has a total driving range of 640 miles. Adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, road departure warning with steering help, automatic high beams, roadside assist, forward collision warning, and the automated emergency braking are all standard features on every Prius Prime. The Limited comes standard with blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic warning, front and rear parking sensors, and automatic wipers. The Prius Prime's basic entertainment system has a 7-inch touchscreen, satellite radio, four USB ports, six speakers, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto compatibility. The XLE trim adds an 11.6-inch touchscreen, navigation, HD radio, and wireless phone charging to the lineup. The Limited is the only vehicle with a head-up display and a 10-speaker JBL audio system. Starting price, $28,000. Nissan LEAF The basic LEAF models include a 147 horsepower electric motor that drives the front wheels and is powered by a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. LEAF Plus versions have a more powerful 214 horsepower electric engine and a bigger 62 kilowatt hour battery. The former achieved a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 7.4 seconds on our test track, but it feels more lively than this figure indicates due to the electric motor's rapid power delivery. The LEAF can be charged by plugging it into either a regular 120 volt outlet or a 240 volt outlet, although charging periods vary significantly between the two. 
Nissan claims that with a 240 volt connection, both the regular Leaf's battery and the larger Leaf Plus can be recharged in seven hours. All trims have a DC fast charging connector as standard. The basic Leaf versions are all equipped with a 40 kilowatt hour battery that offers a relatively short range of 149 miles. Because of its bigger battery pack, the Leaf Plus has a more extended driving range. The S Plus trim level is required to unlock the Leaf's full 226 mile driving range since the SV Plus and SL Plus versions are only certified for 215 miles. The e-pedal function on the Leaf enables the driver to choose between regenerative braking modes. This vehicle starts at $27,400. Subaru Solterra Subaru will soon be entering the EV crossover trend with a new model known as the Solterra. This new name, which combines the Latin words for sun and earth, is intended to highlight the car's ecologically friendly surroundings. As part of a joint venture between the two manufacturers, the 2023 Subaru Solterra shares its platform with the previously unveiled Toyota BZ4X. Its headlights resemble those of the Toyota. The Subaru version will most likely be the same size as the Toyota, which competes in the compact crossover category with vehicles like the RAV4 and Forester. So far, the only information we have on the engine is that the Solterra will come standard with an all-wheel drive. This most likely implies it will feature electric motors in both the front and back. The battery size is also unclear, but we believe it will require at least 250 miles of driving range to compete with other vehicles in this category. Subaru has not yet confirmed a release date for the Solterra, but we anticipate seeing it before the end of 2021. We also expect that pricing will begin at around $40,000 at launch. Suzuki Wagon R Wagon R seems more young and perky. Its design is based on the Suzuki Spacia. It even has beautiful circular headlights that give it a vintage feel. Wagon R Smile features a smiling front fascia, which gives it its name. It is made feasible by employing a broad strip that separates the big air dam into two parts. These represent the top and lower lips of a smiling face. The front grille is adorned with chrome, which contributes to the car's vintage appearance. The car's side and rear parts are elementary in design. Wagon R Smile will be available in various single and dual tone color choices to appeal to a broader spectrum of customers. Several of them feature blacked out pillars and a floating ceiling effect. On the interior, utilities and buttons are strategically positioned to provide for quick access with minimum effort. The dashboard is devoid of clutter and looks great in its dual tone style. The car's center console has a nine inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation. Other distinguishing characteristics include using specialty glass that can withstand both heat and UV radiation from the outside. The car's unique body construction also decreases vibrations and outside noise. The price starts at $15,300. Mazda MX-30 Mazda's first electric car effort is a weird compact SUV with RX-8 style doors. It will initially be offered with a 143 horsepower electric motor driving the front wheels and a tiny battery pack. We estimate a net capacity of about 32 kilowatt hours that Mazda claims will give a meager 100 miles EPA estimated range. For the time being, the MX-30's specifications are puzzling when compared to other cheap EVs. Despite its small battery and limited driving range, it costs several thousand dollars more than comparable EVs to a much greater degree. The 2022 Chevy Bolt EV, for example, begins at $31,995 and has a field that is more than twice that of the Mazda, 259 miles according to the EPA. The 2022 Nissan Leaf, which just got a price reduction, begins well under $30,000 with a rough estimate of 149 miles in the basic configuration. The 2022 Mazda MX-30 is set to storm the market with a starting price of $34,645. Toyota BZ4X The Toyota BZ4X's engine will come standard with an all-wheel drive. That might imply twin electric motors, one for each axle, or an all-wheel drive system that distributes power from a single electric motor to both axles. According to the officially released pictures, 
the BZ4X will have a more futuristic dashboard than previous Toyota vehicles, with a digital gauge display, a prominent infotainment touchscreen, and a spacious center console between the two front seats. The interior seems to be roomy and comparable to the RAV4 and promises to be very comfortable. The BZ4X will be a new car and nameplate for the Toyota brand, and it is expected to hit dealerships in 2022. More information regarding the BZ4X's engine will become available closer to the SUV's release date. The starting price is $37,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.